And I'll show you what people sent, even though I can't really use it because somebody had shut off my cameras when I wasn't here. And there's a space on the recording where somebody had shut off cameras. You guys know that, right? So whoever sent things in the grocery, the groceries or the information, you know, it's appreciated, but I really can't do nothing with it because it wasn't here. I don't know who sent it. I can't really ever use consumable products if it's sent from delivery. I usually have to pick it up in the store. Like even if I had a girlfriend, if I didn't trust her, if I thought something was weird or paranoid or whatever, I'd have to pick it up at the grocery store anyways. You know that, right? Because of safety reasons. My parents trained me that way too. So if anybody tries to send me something like, a food product don't try to send one send me a gift card or something all right same thing for the treasury i don't know why you guys haven't done anything you know this is a hostage situation somebody needs to ask the treasury what kind of situation they think this is and we need a write-up from the u.s treasury and the supreme court what they label this situation as what kind of level of danger and history do they think this situation is we need for them to do a write-up so the news media can cover the story of what the supreme court or the courts and court judges and politicians and treasury personnel think this situation is and the records department plus other people too you know so you know in reverence to somebody sent milk Somebody sent diapers. They sent diapers and like laundry detergent. Might be able to use that though. I can probably use the laundry detergent. Somebody sent bananas. Two packs of bananas. Which of course I love bananas, but I can't use those. Somebody sent envelopes, which I can probably use those in the house, but I don't really like write letters. Somebody has to write me a letter and for me to respond, so I can use the laundry detergent. Let's see what's in this bag. Somebody sent milk, another milk jug, and somebody sent more bananas. So, somebody sent two boxes of envelopes, somebody sent two bags of bananas, somebody sent two bags of pampers, diaper, baby diapers, somebody sent laundry detergent, which I can use that, I can't drink the milk either, because you got to watch how the government tries to tamper with things, like you might see a lid on, on a milk, and you see how this is. The way the government or the way the bad people try to steal the lid off of milk is they'll cut the plastic and they'll split the threads of the cap. And then what they'll do is they'll, they'll if they tamper with the product, they'll have the whole cap off and it'll be in the solid form where the seal hadn't been broken. So, like, for instance, if somebody was trying to tamper with a milk jug or a sealed cap, they'll cut around it and they'll split it and then they'll just pull out the threads. And if they tamper with it, then they'll just have a whole cap. And these people will put a cap on something that's been tampered. So you got to watch out for shit like that, too. And I can use a laundry detergent. There's no letters or information on anything. I mean, there's just, you know, this. But, well, I can't really use these, so I don't know what to do with these. Oh, they smell pretty good, though, whatever it is. Tropical fruit or whatever. <laughs> but, you know, basic, basic information. So, you know, even though I love bananas... You know, government tries to tamper with food products. So if anybody tries to send me anything, 
you have to send a gift card. So the treasury needs to know that too. Reference to the deprima deprivation and the hostage crimes and financial crimes of government. And today is, you know, 